5640. We are anxious to hear from you, so don't hesitate <coughs> to give us your questions. Uh, John, thank you for joining us. It's a pleasure having Thanks you. Thanks for having me. Uh, tell us first of all about this title. What makes it different from every other bodybuilding contest? Well, the biggest thing is that this is a natural contest, which means all the competitors in the contest are drug tested for steroids or diuretics or any other kind of drugs. Mm -hmm. And the title I won was the Natural Mr. Universe, so that means the guys came from all over the country. Mm -hmm. All over the world, in fact. Um, we had guys there from New Zealand, France, England, Germany, uh, all over the United States, Canada, Mexico. So it was a huge contest. Uh, well, it's very common <coughs> for people at the competitive stage of bodybuilding to use uh, helpful drugs in their training, is that right? Yeah, unfortunately, um, steroids and bodybuilding, I guess, started in the 40s and 50s, and uh, everybody being a competitor, if one person's taking it, then everyone wants to take it. You know, nobody wants one person to have an advantage over another. Unfortunately, it's gotten, in my opinion, way out of control, and these people are just taking massive amounts of drugs, and who knows what it's going to do to them in the future, you know. And these are all unregulated <coughs> and illegal products as well, right? Yeah, steroids are against the law unless they're prescribed by a physician because they are a medical drug, you know. Mm -hmm. But uh, bodybuilders take them to help them with their training and their diet and to go beyond what is naturally possible. And uh, a couple years ago, the government made the drugs Ill illegal, very illegal, where it's in the possession, it's in the same categories like cocaine or heroin. Mm -hmm. And when they started doing this, a lot of doctors stopped prescribing them, stopped getting involved with them. And then this brought on the advent of uh, the black market steroids. Mm -hmm. So now th there's so many drugs out there, you don't know what you're getting when you buy them because you're buying them from somebody usually in the gym or something like that. Mm -hmm. So they're not even usually the drugs that you're, you're buying. So who knows what you're getting now. So it's really dangerous now. Okay. Uh, so what prompted the contest then to be uh, drug free? Well, bodybuilding is a great sport and um, a lot of people out there practice it without doing drugs, you know. They just do it on their own and then it, maybe if they want to compete one day, they'll do it without, you know, using the steroids. So the natural organization has, has really gotten big the last few years. And this organization, the ABA, which is based out in California, which was the organization I won, uh, they've been about three years old now, and they're getting bigger and bigger every year. Okay. Uh, now, do you think it's impossible, or, well, obviously you think it's possible then to train uh, at the same level as people who are using steroids? I mean, what are the differences? Is it twice as hard to get to a certain point than it would be with the Yeah, the drugs steroids? make everything easier. They make, they increase your strength, they allow recuperation to become easier, they allow you to get cut up, which means to get rid of all the body fat, which is your goal when you go into contest. Everything is easier when you're on the drugs. It can be done without the drugs, but it just takes more knowledge and it also takes more time. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at what you did uh, this okay. past October. You won the Natural Mr. Universe contest and uh, what we will be looking at is part of your, or maybe all of your routine from okay. the uh, regional Great. competition. Let's go ahead and see it. America, 1990 Illinois Cup, the second, 1991 Natural Illinois, John Hansen.
Should I make him take it off his shirt or not? <laughs> <laughs> Only no, if I me. believe it. It is you. Okay, well, th there goes that. <laughs> <laughs> now, this was the natural contest. Right, um, that was the natural Illinois, which was the first one I won. And then I won the natural North America in San Francisco, and then the natural universe, which was in Venice, California. Okay. Uh, now, that looked, I mean, just as good to me as any other competitions I've seen that perhaps do use drugs. Have you ever trained with any of those steroids? or? I did try them uh, myself a couple of times um, between the ages of like 22 and 27. Mm -hmm. And the reason I did them was because my goal when I started training was to become a professional bodybuilder. And I knew that all the bodybuilders took steroids. Um, the way I did it, though, was a little bit different than the way a lot of people do it. I trained my body naturally. I started out, I weighed 135 pounds when I was 14, and I trained until I got to up to 230 pounds by the time I was 21 without ever doing steroids. Mm -hmm. So I got the size and the strength naturally. The reason I used the drugs is when I went in the contest, the last three months I would use the drugs just when I was going through this dieting phase, which is very strict and very intense. And you have to go through this diet to get rid of all your body fat so you have that cut look. You know, you see all the yeah, veins and the cuts. The right. And when you do that, go through that dieting phase, sometimes you lose muscle size. Mm -hmm. So the drugs just sort of held on to the muscle size while I was going through this dieting phase. It was sort of like a 5% finishing effect. You know, sort of like if you have a car and if you wash it, it'll that look last nice. Polish. Right, if you polish it, it'll look just, you know, even a little bit nicer. So, you know? what do you think are some of the differences? Do you, do, is there anything negative you would say about the drugs as far as you feeling better without them? We know what, what they're capable of doing as far as helping during your training, but what would you say were some of the negative things you Well, they're very powerful drugs. Body? And uh, if you abuse them like any other drug, who knows what the long term side effects will be? You could have cardiovascular disease, uh, possible liver damage, kidney damage. Um, hypertension, it definitely increases your uh, aggression and you have mood swings and things like that. Mm -hmm. So they're very powerful drugs and I think you're better off not using them. You know, the differences with my training doing it now naturally was I had to diet a lot longer. Usually I would diet eight weeks for a contest when I was doing the drugs. Now I dieted for this contest like 15 weeks for the first one and it ended up being 22 weeks by the time I got to the last one. So it just takes more knowledge and it also takes more time. You know, you have to put in the time. Like I said, I trained those seven years without ever doing them and I increased my body weight almost 100 pounds. So you just have to try a little harder but you could get the same look. It's not impossible. Yeah, definitely. I, in fact, okay. I even surprised myself with how I looked this year, you know. Okay, and of course you never went back after that. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's hear from our audience. Go ahead, caller. Um, I just want to know what he plans on doing, like, later on in life. Like, he can't go on bodybuilding forever. Sure you can. Know, can you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, they have master's competitions, in fact, in California, some of these master's competitors were like, I think the one guy was 86 years old. 86? Yeah, it's incredible, you know, what you can do. I mean, well, bodybuilding really... Jack Lane, right? Yeah, Jack Lane's a perfect example. I mean, bodybuilding will actually slow down the aging process because if you don't use the muscles through some type of exercise, you'll lose it. You know, if you don't use it, you'll lose it. And um, it'll just fade away and atrophy. So bodybuilding keeps the muscles in shape and the diet, of course, is very healthy also. Like you're 86? <laughs> as far as competition goes, I don't know. Maybe only about three more years, but I'll definitely work out until I die. There's no doubt about that. Oh, okay. Thanks for calling. Thanks. Okay. Okay, let's go ahead to the next call. Oh, yes. I'm just starting bodybuilding right now, mm -hmm. and I haven't really done much for about ooh, four or five years and so. And I was only a uh, beginner at the time then. And what I'm trying to do now is I'm trying to bulk up. I'd like to get bigger, and I'm trying to look for an exercise program that I could use to get bigger. Well, you came to the right show, because I, <laughs> I sell one of those. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, here it is. Get wide, yeah, right? Yeah, buy my book, Get Wide. <laughs> okay. Uh, basically, what you're going to be doing is uh, an exercise program, which I do sell. I'm serious about that. It's a four-day week training program. And you split the body into two days. You train half the body one day and half the body the next day. You're only training four days a week. Okay. And you're just concentrating on using basic exercises. Are most you guys when up they're doing push and pull. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly what it is. Okay. Mo most guys when they try and get big, they um, they do too many exercises and they're in the gym too long. You just want to concentrate on the basic exercises. Uses heavy weight, heavy weights. And uh, that'll do it. That'll and I have I have it all outlined in this program. So if you'll call me, right, we'll give you that information. We'll at the yeah, end I'll of give the you program. the information on how to get that. Okay, great. Thank you very much. Thanks You're for welcome. calling. Okay, bye. Bye, bye.
Okay, uh, we will continue taking your calls after this break. Once again, the number is 636-5640. We would love to hear from you. So uh, stay with us and join us after the break. We are back. This is On Call, and our guest tonight is Natural Mr. Universe, John Hansen. Uh, we are here to take your calls and give you some information about the topic of bodybuilding, uh, bodybuilding drug-free. Right. Uh, you just won the competition in October. Uh, what does it take for someone who... Now, you're pretty busy, too. You work a full-time job. Uh, a myth is a lot of people think that you need to do this full-time. Uh, right. How long, actually, does it take you to train? When I train, I train about an hour and a half to two hours. Mm -hmm. I think if you're training really heavy and really hard, like I do... That's in one day, right? Right, one right. Uh, you can't train longer than two hours. After an hour and a half or two hours, that's it, you're done. I mean, if you're training really serious, you can't train, you know, five or six hours like the myth is. So you, you know. have to make use, good use of the time that you're in the gym. Right, right. I mean, your body can only take so much and you can only train for so long. Uh, the only way you could train five hours, I think, is if you talk to everybody in the gym. You know? <laughs> Otherwise, okay, no way. so one to two hours in one evening, that's pretty reasonable. Right. That's one or two hours that you don't have to spend in front of the TV, Exactly. Right? <laughs> and for a person just wanting to stay in shape, all it would take is maybe three days a week, 45 minutes to an okay, hour. Yeah, right, that's so it. you're talking, of, to be professionally training, you need to be there two hours a day. Exactly. If you want to compete, then you have to do it more. So how many, and how many times a week? Three to four times a week? The training routine I'm on now, I train two days in a row, take a day off, and then two more days and take a day off. So it's two on, one off, two on, one off. So it's usually about five days a week. Okay, so that sounds pretty reasonable. Let's go ahead and hear again from our audience. Caller, are you there? Uh, yes, I've been doing aerobics for about the, oh, and also step aerobics for about the past five years. And I want to improve aerobically. And I heard that bodybuilding might be able to help me. Uh, what would I need to do to start out to help me in that sense? I don't really want to build up muscle or, or become a bodybuilder. I would just like to improve aerobically. Well, what, would you, what you would do then is do a weight training routine called a circuit training. And that's where you take maybe 10 different bodybuilding exercises that train each different part of the body. So you take one exercise for your chest, one for your legs, your back, your shoulders, your arms, etc. And you would do them with light weights and you would do them continuously, non-stop. So instead of doing like the regular bodybuilding routine where you do a set, you rest, you would do a set and then go right away to the next exercise and right away to the next exercise. And then this would be like called one circuit. And you would do this maybe two or three times. And then this would train all your different muscle groups, but it would also train you aerobically, too, or train your cardiovascular system because you're not stopping. Okay. Thank you very much. You're Thanks welcome. for calling. Okay. Let's go on to the next one. Are you there? Hello. Go ahead. How you doing? Yeah, I started bodybuilding, and um, uh, I was just going to ask John, does a uh, non-alcoholic beer have anything to do with working out if you were to drink it when you're working out? When you're working out, drink beer? Yeah. Is there a bad effect? During your workout? Uh, excuse me? Do you mean during your training period? Exactly. Or, or during the workout, like stop, get off the bench press and have a non-alcoholic beer? Uh, I was wondering <laughs> if there's any effect in oh. that. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend that. The only thing I would drink during training is water. Um, and then after your workout, what you want to drink is some type of carbohydrate drink that they sell in the gyms a lot of times. And this will replenish all the carbohydrates that you burned off while you're working out. But the only thing you want to drink while you're working out, I think, is water because if you drink something that needs a lot of digestion, then your, your, blood, your blood is going to be trying to digest the food you're eating or the, the drink you're drinking, and it's going to be trying to go to the muscles at the same time, and you can't do both at the same time. I see. Hey, John, uh, by the way, I'm a good fan of yours. Uh, I was one of your old neighbors, uh, Mike W. This oh, I know, Mike. <laughs> all right. I want you right now. It's great. All right. Thanks, thanks for calling. Family, I said hi. All right. I will. All right. Thanks a lot. Thanks, thanks. for calling. There you go. A little reunion for you. <laughs> <laughs> you are, uh, you live in Orland. Is Orland right now, so right. It's too late now. <laughs> but uh, you are local. You grew up in Worth, as grew we up mentioned in Worth, during right. the break. Okay. So, uh, for men and women, then, it's not impossible to stay in shape and do all of your other social or professional things that you do. Right. It's just time management. You know, you have to uh, make the best of your time. Now, reading through all of your information and just from the <coughs> things that you've already said uh, during the first part of the show, it sounds like nutrition is also a very important part. Probably exactly. just as important. Yeah, it's 50-50 it's for sure because what you do in the gym is you're tearing down muscle tissue. 
and then when you what you eat and the rest you get is what's going to build up the muscle tissue. Mm -hmm. So if you only train and you, and you don't follow a good diet, it's not going to build up the muscle tissue that well. So okay, now I'm, I'm reading important. the celebrity page here from November 25th, uh, the Sun Times and the Chicago Profile. Some of what he eats, okay, 10 egg whites for breakfast. I don't know <laughs> 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 if I could do that. I mean, what? What would you what would you think are some of the the biggest mistakes people make as as far as eating habits? What what do we do that really affects our workouts? Well, one of the biggest mistakes is that you don't eat enough. I know a lot of women when they want to lose weight, they'll starve themselves and they won't eat. Mm -hmm. And what the body does when you're doing that is it shuts down. Your metabolism shuts down because it thinks you're starving, it thinks you're going through this really severe starvation phase and it needs to hold on to fat. What I did when I did when I trained for this natural universe, I ate like 9 times a day but they were only small meals, you know, so every two hours I was eating. And what this does is it stimulates your metabolism to keep working faster and faster. So the more I ate, the more I lost weight. Mm -hmm. But they were the right kind of foods. They were like really low in fat, high protein, high complex carbohydrates. So you, you need to f count fat perhaps more than uh, calories sometimes. Exactly, yeah, you, you need to eat calories. Ca you know, you need to eat, that's very healthy. Mm -hmm. But you just have to watch what kind of foods you eat. You have to well, keep the fats What if you don't like egg whites? Right. <laughs> <laughs> What's well, an acquired taste? <laughs> <laughs> what else does he eat? Let's see. Chicken, Baked fish, potato dry. turkey. Uh, and a lot of people would say, well, I could never do that. Forget it. I can't train. I mean, do you really have to go to that extreme? Or, or as just far as the diet? Yeah. Well, it helps to eat healthy, you know. Um, you don't have to really eat super. I don't eat like this all year long. You just know. when you're training? Just when I'm training for a contest and I want to get rid of all the body fat. But I always, I always do try and eat healthy all year, you know. Okay, so smaller, more frequent meals, uh, right. lower in fat. Right. Uh, what about what we've heard about eating late? I mean, should you not eat after a certain time? Or? It never bothered me. I always ate, you know, right before I go to bed. I mm -hmm. always eat like that. So, as, like I said, as long as you're eating those small meals and as long as you're exercising too, that's important. You don't want to just eat nine meals a day and then not do any exercise. Okay. You know, so as long as you're exercising and you're eating those small meals, that that'll get your metabolism going and that'll burn off the fat. Uh, well, a lot of people would say, uh, well, bodybuilding, that's boring. It doesn't, you know, didn't give me any satisfaction. Like one of the guys here was saying, I don't like that. I'd rather do a team sport. Mm -hmm. um, do you get some of the same rewards of, as far as self-esteem and, you know, just your satisfaction after a workout that you would with some type of team sport? Oh, yeah, I think I do, for sure. Um, it helps you mentally just as much as it does physically. You know, when I started out, I was very shy and very skinny and then the bodybuilding it helps your self-confidence because you realize if you can increase your your bench press 50 pounds or you can increase your body weight 100 pounds and just totally transform your body then you start to have confidence in yourself and believe that you can do these things with the rest of your life too you there's know there's a lot of discipline required exactly right i mean there's no cheating around this even if you take the drugs that's one thing i want to get out about the drugs steroids do help they're very powerful but they're drugs like any other drugs and once you stop the taking the drugs, you're going to go right back to where you were before. Mm -hmm. So if you're 170 pounds and then you take the steroids and get up to 190 pounds, when you get off the steroids, you're going to go right back down to 170 pounds. Mm -hmm. So there's no getting around this. There's no cheating. Uh, it takes a lot of hard work and it takes a lot of discipline, you know. Okay. Uh, we will take a break at this point. We will be back to talk uh, more with John Hansen, Natural Mystery Universe, right after this. Stay with us. Our guest tonight has been Natural Mr. Universe, John Hansen. Uh, John, you do a number of things. Uh, you work a full-time job, but you right. do a lot of fitness-related things, right? Right. Uh, one of them being uh, some publications that you put out. Here's one about getting wide. This is how to build a wide, thick back. Okay. And the look of the 90s, get <laughs> wide. <laughs> Um, what are some of the other things that you do? Well, I do a lot of bodybuilding and fitness seminars at all different kinds of places, uh, whether it's hardcore bodybuilding gyms or fitness clubs or high schools to talk to kids about drugs and about staying in shape and good nutrition. I also talk to a lot of the Boy Scouts and Cub Scouts and things like that. And I also set up um, training and nutrition programs for uh, anybody that wants to get in shape, whether it's compete in bodybuilding or just get in shape. They want a personalized diet and personalized training routine, and I set those things up too. Okay. Um, so you do personal training then as well? Exactly. Okay. 
Okay, and if somebody is interested in getting more information on when and where they can do this with you, they can give you a call. Right, just give me a call and uh, we'll set something up. Okay, and uh, you are in the area. Orland Park, So right. you're easily accessible. And uh, you can give John a call at 532-5691 if you are interested in getting information on some upcoming seminars or your own personal training program if you're just want to get in good shape or if you're going to decide to uh, to compete, compete or anything right okay well it's been get a pleasure in shape for the summer <laughs> having you thank you for joining us and giving us so much good information thank you hopefully everybody's going to start working out tomorrow right and uh, calling you for some advice sounds good <laughs> okay we're going to leave you with uh, the final natural Mr. Universe competition right. right this is what I won okay very exciting <laughs> <laughs> Thanks again for joining us and okay. to everyone out there. Thank you all for joining us. Have a good night.